Good evening, class of 2020, and all who came in support. For those of you who don't know me, my name is JC Hoy, and I'm so honored to be speaking tonight. From the first day we walked into Noble High School as scared freshmen, to the day we unknowingly left for the last time, these four years have been quite a journey. This night is something we have all been waiting for for 12 years, and although this isn't exactly how we pictured it, I'm proud of us for being here. Amidst the circumstances, we have missed out on senior nights, lost precious time with our friends, and had special things ripped away from us. Special things we have been waiting for for years. We will never have our senior prank or senior skip day. We will never have the chance to play our last game, run that last race, or dance at our last prom. But what we do have is the opportunity to move forward with our minds set towards a new beginning. Let us take what we have learned in this time and carry this knowledge with us wherever we go. So, to all the underclassmen, I hope you can learn from my mistakes. I hope you never take a single thing for granted and never wish your time away, because before you know it, you will be the one walking across this stage. Enjoy every single moment, even when you have to stay up all night because you procrastinated too long. Enjoy yourself even when your teacher assigns way too much homework or when your coach runs you until you throw up. I promise you everything will be worth it when you look back. I know it all was for me. To everyone who has lent a hand in my education, thank you. From my kindergarten librarian to my high school science teachers and everyone in between, I wouldn't be here without you guys. Thank you for your patience. I know dealing with a classroom full of giggling students isn't always easy, but you guys made it seem like it was. And speaking of kindergarten librarians, there is a certain someone I made a promise to 12 years ago. Mrs. Kersey, you are absolutely the kindest, most wholesome, loving, and crazy person I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. I wouldn't be the person I am today without your influence in my life. I love you like you love chicken soup with rice. Oh, and P.S., I think I owe you a Diet Coke. To my family. I don't even have the words to say how grateful I am for you guys. Mom, Dad, thanks for all but shoving me out of the nest to ensure I knew how to fly by myself when the time came. I don't know of many parents who would send their only two children halfway across the country for college, but you guys did so with a gracious heart. I love you. And Uncle Scott, don't worry, you'll always be my BFF. And to the rest of my family, thanks for the constant laughs and always putting me in my place. I know I've needed it once or twice. Kaylee, see you in Malibu. And finally, to the class of 2020, we made it. From the nights full of homework that we longed to be over to the Friday night lights we wished would last forever, we are here. We have grown so much over these four short years, and I wish for nothing but happiness for all of you. So whatever you decide to do in life, do so with passion. Let your passions drive you, and you will accomplish anything you set your mind to. Cheers to being the best class in noble history. Before I go, I want to mention our beloved classmate who may not be with us tonight, but is certainly celebrating with us in heaven. We miss you, Austin Haley. Now, I know you are ready to get to the good stuff, so I won't keep you any longer. Thank you to everyone who came out to support or who are watching from home. Congratulations, class of 2020. I love you guys.